When there was silence in heaven, wakati kulikuwa na ukimya mbinguni, no angel showed up. Hakuna malaika aliyetokea. There was silence in heaven. Kulikuwa na ukimya mbinguni. Because there was a seal. Kwa sababu kulikuwa na muhuri. That had been sealed. Ambao ulikuwa umewekwa. And nobody could break it. Na hakuna yeyote angeweza kuuvunja. The whole of heaven went silent. Mbingu yote ikanyamaza. When John was shown it. Wakati Yohana alionyeshwa hiyo. He started weeping. Alianza kulia. Because if heaven is quiet. Kwa sababu kama mbingu iko kimya. The earth is in trouble. Dunia iko shidani. And he was told. Na kaambiwa. Do not weep. Usilie. Because one has been found worthy. Kwa sababu mmoja amepatikana kuwa anastahili. He came to his father. Akaja kwa baba yake. And took the scroll. Na akachukua kile chuo. And broke the seal. Na akavunja ule muhuri. The father was asking. Baba alikuwa anauliza. Who will go for us? Ni nani ataenda kwa ajili yetu? To go and restore. Aende akarejeshe. My sons. Wanangu. Who have strayed from me? Ambao wametoroka no kutoka kwa. No angel was willing to pay the price hakukuwa na malaika ambaye alikuwa tayari kulipa gharama price was death kwa sababu gharama ile ilikuwa ni kifo and jesus na yesu my elder brother ndugu yangu mkubwa stepped up akasimama because he would not allow his father kwa sababu hangeruhusu baba yake to lack anything akose chochote to want something done Apate, atake kitu kifanyike and no one wants to do it na pasiwe na yeyote atakaye kukifanya he stepped up akasimama came and took the scroll akaja akachukua chuo he said i am willing akasema niko tayari if this is what the will of my father is kama haya ndio mapenzi ya baba yangu and somebody has to pay that price na mtu lazima alipe hiyo gharama then Daddy, I will go for you. Basi baba nitaenda kwa ajili yako. I will go for you. Nitaenda kwa ajili yako. So when the time came for that to happen. Kwa hiyo wakati ulipofika kwa hiyo kutendeka. When he is pleading with the father. Wakati anamsihi baba. Take away the cup. Niondolee kikombe hiki. I don't want to die. Sitaki kufa. He remembered. Akakumbuka. What had happened in heaven? Kile kilikuwa kimetendeka mbinguni. He remembered. Akakumbuka. That there was no one. Kwamba hakukuwa na yeyote. That was willing. Ambaye alikuwa tayari. There was no angel. Hakukuwa na malaika. There was no cherubim. Hakukuwa na maserafi. There was no seraphim. Hakukuwa na seraphim. They all went silent. Ah wote walinyamaza. He remembered. Akakumbuka. I stepped out. Nilisimama. For this particular thing. Kwa ajili ya kitu hiki. And he told him akamwambia No I don't want to die Ingawaje sitaki kufa Not my will Sio mapenzi yangu But let your will be done Bali wacha mapenzi yako yatendeke The Bible says he was led like a sheep to the slaughter Biblia inasema aliongozwa kama kondoo kwenda machinjoni. And he uttered no word. Na hakuta akutamka neno lolote. He could have called 10,000 soldiers. Angeweza kuita uh, maskari elfu kumi. Angels. Uh, malaika. To come and take him out of the cross. Waje wamtoe kwenye msalaba. But he bore the pain. Lakini alivumilia uchungu. So that he may become. Ili afanyike. The seed of God. Mbegu ya Mungu. Sown by God. Iliopandwa na Mungu. For the salvation of all of us. Kwa ajili ya wokovu wa kila mmoja wetu. So that. Ili kwamba. We may prosper. Tuweze kufanikiwa. And continuing continue prospering. Na tuendelee kufanikiwa. Until we become very prosperous hadi tufanikiwe kabisa that there will be no luck kwamba hakutakuwa na upungufu in the house of god katika nyumba ya mungu there will be nothing hakutakuwa na chochote that we will want to do ambacho tutataka kufanya that there that it will not be done ambacho hakitaweza kufanywa God will prosper you. Mungu atakufanikisha. Until you become very prosperous. Hadi ufanikiwe kweli kweli. And you will have possessions 
that you will need accountants to keep your books na utakuwa na mali ambapo utahitaji wahasibu kuweka vitabu vyako you will need people to take care of your prosperity utahitaji watu wa kutunza ufanisi wako ah i feel an anointing now na hisi upako sasa <laughs>